check my test check 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 okay this recording is this is the class number four of advanced web so previously I interviewed you what you know and what you don't know and what you have done and what you have done it looks like you have done basic web and this is the next web class and I have ins I have uh, explained many times that there is a browser network Apache PHP PostgreSQL drawing something like this okay <laughs> you see this one so this is what we're doing we have the browser in the host OS and we have a server which is the inside the Vietnami virtual machine and it has Apache, PHP and Postgres database so you install Vietnami in your laptop or in the lab computer have you finished this one? raise your hand if you finish installing Uh, I ask you to read 40 most popular Linux commands because the server is in uh, Linux and uh, we configure the Bitnami <coughs> VM network to be how was it so Bitnami settings network host only adapter the goal was so that we can be able to ping so the IP address of <coughs> the virtual machine is 56.101 in my computer and I should be able to ping 192.168.56.101 and if I'm able to ping 192.168 I can also visit it here <laughs> and we had that try.php which we made and we found out that uh, to, to become super user, you can use do bash. This is the command. And then the, my friend, this is the command, sudo bash. <coughs> and then the, I don't want to deal with the permissions now. So I will just be root. And then the files are in opt bitnami uh, apache htdocs so this cd is change directory that means you go there you understand so when you type ls you are now inside the because previously when you log in you are in this folder you are in slash home slash bitnami pwd is print working directory ls is list the files ls is uh, list the files ls dash l is list the files long mode so if we go to the the document root of bitnami is in here so the goal of this is to be able to ping and to see the 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 the, no, the, the page from the browser now let's go to document root to put our files 
but you have to sudo bash to become the super user <coughs> that's why you should listen because I'm not uh, I cannot write I'm talking and I cannot write everything that I'm anyway it's recorded right okay so but please look uh, okay you are doing also so sudo bash and then you, I type cd op slash bitnami slash apache slash htdocs uh -huh. <clears throat> and then I have my favorite I, the editor that we used was uh, what was this? pico try that php and then I type this and then I can save and then when I go to here in the browser where is our browser try that PHP let me close this when I click reload here in the browser it's updated already last time we encountered let me check recording <coughs> Recording six minutes. Last time we encountered that when we change the HTML, uh, the the PHP, when we say, when we reload from the browser, it doesn't update immediately. So, the problem with that is there is a cache. A cache. It's called op cache. It is uh, because you know php is an interpreted language so it is slow it is not as fast as c because the php interpreter has to read every line real time and interpret what it means and create variables etc so it is slow slower than c than compiling because in c you make a c program you compile it and it is translated into machine language so machine language runs as fast as the hardware but in PHP it's not as fast as uh, C so there is a cache the cache has a list of pages and has a list of results when you call when you visit try.php the php interpreter will run try.php and will save the output somewhere and then when you request again when when you request try.php again and it has it has the same url the web the web browser the web server will say oh it's the same url why why do we need to run try.php two times when we can just give the cached version the disadvantage is the advantage is the try that php doesn't have to run so many times only once per minute but the disadvantage is the output is the same yeah so we have to disable the cache how did we disable the cache by following the instructions <laughs> here we just the instructions here we edit the the files here in and also here this one i think i did not find it i did not find page speed but i found i opened this file op bitnami php etc so how do you go here you can exit this text editor and you can cd slash op slash or you can actually just uh, pico the whole thing bitnami php etc slash php dot ini and i look for everything that has a cache and I commented it or turned it off. 
and then I saved it so if you find here if you control W op cache you see that I turned all I commented or yeah this one op cache I disabled it and then I restarted the web server I restarted the whole virtual machine how do you restart the whole virtual machine in it six I think you can type reboot yeah so I restarted the whole virtual machine of course while it's restarting if you try to reload this one it will give you errors right I mean the com computer is off okay it's loading now beat nami <clears throat> so so far we got uh, PHP running without cache you understand okay so we can develop quickly Should I teach next lesson or should I wait for you to to catch up? CD Apache HD Docs. So that's until there. The next lesson is HTML forms. But maybe I will stop this recording first and then I will separate recording. <clears throat>